Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tamara Brene. If you are new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. So as you can see by the title of today's video, it is my updated, or I wouldn't say updated, but it's my current makeup routine. Like, y'all, the makeup is looking snatched. It's looking flawless, okay? Every time I switch something up, y'all pick up on it. Like, y'all eyes are really, really sharp, okay? Y'all eyes are really sharp. But yeah, I decided to give this video to you guys because I have, you know, added and have been using some new products and stuff like that that I haven't shared on my channel before. And yeah, I really, really love how my makeup be looking. So I will say that this is definitely a full glam. It is, a, it's a full soft glam, you know? I love full coverage. There's no in between for me, y'all know this. So if you don't like full glam, well, I'm sorry because this is full glam, okay? <laughs> and I always give full glam for the girl. For the girls, for the girls. Oh, also just in case if anyone's wondering, um, cause I know I probably will get asked, this top that I'm wearing is actually from Zara. I got this years ago. I completely forgot about it. I forgot that I had it in my closet until, you know, I did my little closet revamp thing that y'all saw in my previous vlogs, you know? But yeah, love this top. And I'm like, let me put it on to for today's video. So yeah, Zara, Zara is that girl. I keep talking about Zara. And the necklace is also from Zara. I got it last summer. Um, so yeah, do check out Zara, you guys. Check out Zara. Check out Zara. <laughs> Everything will be down listed in the description box below, so do check that out. So if you are interested in seeing my current makeup routine, all the new products and stuff that I've been using, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get right into today's video. This is my current go-to makeup look, my updated kind of like routine with some new makeup products and um, all of that good stuff that I've been using to achieve this flawless beat of mine and I am all the way here for it. You guys know I am a full coverage type of girl. I love the full glam. I there, There's no in-between for me. It's either no makeup or full glam. I can't do the in-between, okay? I just can't. So first things first, you wanna make sure that your face is freshly washed and moisturized. For those that may be wondering, I do have combination skin. My nose area and like the T-zone area gets um, oily throughout the day. Just a tad bit is not to the extreme. Um, around my mouth and chin area, I do have dry skin and then everywhere else is just normal. I mean, goodness, it's a lot. So you wanna make sure that your face is freshly washed, cleansed and fully moisturized, okay? And regardless if you have oily skin or combination skin, normal skin, dry skin, you always wanna make sure that your face is moisturized. You wanna make sure you moisturize. So what I've added in it to my makeup routine is this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Like you guys, y'all don't understand. So I actually purchased the mini one to give it a test and then I got the bigger one in PR and I'm like, look at that. And um, I've already finished using the mini one and then got started on using the bigger one. I love this cream so much. I know all the TikTok girls be talking about this and they ain't lying when they tell you that this cream right here is the truth. So I do use this both the morning and at night. It is a part of my skincare routine, but I like to use this right before I do my makeup. I don't know what it is. I guess it really is a magic cream, but it does something to my face. I notice a huge difference with my makeup overall, and it is just the absolute best. I love this cream so much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some to my face. Now, I know some of the girlies like to use this cream as a primer. You can definitely use it as a primer, but I use it and I still mix it with my primer, which is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know how much I how much I love that primer. I always talk about that primer. So I like to let this product sit into my skin for about two to three minutes. During that two to three minutes, I'm always finding something to do, whether that be you know, packing up my uh, makeup products and having them on my table in front of me or going to wet my beauty sponge. Like there's always something for me to do to allow that two to three minute time to pass by. So that's what I'm gonna do. And also I wanna make sure that my lips are moisturized. Yeah, I am so hot right now. Mm, this right here, this needs to go, okay? This needs to go. 
and the the dark spot is actually my fault i've been playing with it picking at it bothering it and this is what it left but i don't worry too much about you know pimples and bumps and stuff like that because it will fade and it will go away after a while but you know y'all know like my face i don't really have problems with that <laughs> all right i completely forgot to mention after i apply the magic cream i go ahead and i do my eyebrows i completely forgot that i have to do my eyebrows so i'm actually gonna do my eyebrows off camera because i need the mirror like right in front of me that's how serious it is when it comes to these brows and then once i complete my brows i will come back and then dive right into the look all right girlies so eyebrows are done and out of the way i wish i could do my eyebrows after my makeup but i'm the type where i gotta do my eyebrows before i do my makeup because the way my eyebrow hairs are set up yeah that's nearly impossible for me to do so when i do my eyebrows you guys have seen me do my brows before um i use my benefit pencil this is the precisely my brow pencil i use the shade five and then i clean up with my Too faced born this way chai concealer and it's funny because doing my eyebrows literally took me about five minutes and it's crazy because it's a day where i don't have to go out on days i gotta go out my eyebrows be doing the most and causing me so much trouble like what why can't you just be easy for me so anyway um eyebrows are done and now that the charlotte tilbury magic powder not powder magic cream is all set into the skin i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face And I don't need to use a lot of this primer. I used to use a lot before, but not anymore. Because really and truly, a little goes a long way. So now that's applied onto the face, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And now it's time for foundation. My go-to foundations, you guys know this already. I love using my Pat McGrath foundation. I love using my Too Faced Chai. And I also love to use my Estee Lauder foundations. I have two of these because I have to mix. On days I want a really full coverage, you know, type of base, I will use my Too Faced powder foundation. On days when I want something light but not too much, I will definitely use my Pat McGrath. Um, I don't have her hair. She's all the way over there, but I also like to use my NARS. It's the Long Radiant uh, Foundation. It's the Long Radiant Foundation. I think that's what it's called. I'll have the screen, the name somewhere on the screen here. And I also like to use my Estee Lauder Foundations. Um, you know, I mean, they all give me the type of coverage I want, so that's why I use them. But each foundation has a different type of consistency. So for today, I will be using these foundations right here. I do have to mix. I have the shades C, sorry, 6W1 Sandalwood and 5W1.5 Cinnamon. Um, I definitely need to get pumps for this foundation. You just take it off and that's how it is i definitely need the pump because it would make my life so much easier so this is the this is sandalwood i can't remember is this the darker one i believe this is the darker one and i'm just using this flat brush and just get that all over my face and then add just a little bit of this what is this called cinnamon So I like to use a brush for blending and applying my foundation. I used to use a beauty sponge, but that takes up way too much product. And I find that I would go through my foundations really quickly. So a brush is what I use. And this is the ABH A30 foundation brush. And I'm just going to blend and buff this out into my skin.
And when it comes to mixing foundations, if you ever feel, okay, you know, the foundation is looking too light, always go back with the darker shade. Add a few drops onto the face and then blend that out. But honestly, I don't worry too much about all of that because when I bronze, when I set my face with my powder and I bronze and do all of that, I make it work. And for me, I like to just take my foundation and kind of, I don't like to bring it all the way down on my neck. And y'all, this is a rash I have going on here. I don't know what that is, but I don't, I do not like to bring my foundation onto my neck, especially with, you know, knowing the kind of clothing I'm going to be wearing and the colors of the tops that I'll be wearing. So bringing foundation onto my neck, no, but I do bring it a bit under the jawline and that is it. Moving on, I am going to set my, well not set, but um, apply some concealer, just a tad bit. This is Chai. This is what I use for my brows. I'm going to apply some of that and just blend it out. This is just an extra step. Really and truly, I did not have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, and once I blend this out, I am going to set it with some loose powder. But this is just for more coverage on my eyelids when I apply my shadow or bronzer onto my lids. Again, this is an extra step. This, this is optional. You don't have to. But I know some people that take the concealer from under their brows and bring it onto their eyelids and then blend it out. So now it's time to highlight, apply some concealer, bake, set, all that good stuff. As of, I'm going to say it's been the last couple of months I've noticed in my photos, um, when I use flash, I noticed I had a bit of flashback on my under eye and I did not understand why it just didn't make any sense to me because I was using the same products and the same shades. but. It was as if something was, or I don't know if it was something that was always there, but I didn't notice until a while ago. So I was like, in order for me to get rid of that flashback, it's either one of three things. I got to change my concealer shade, like take it down a notch, or I got to use a different setting powder under the eye, or it, it's both of them. So I decided to actually change both of them. Now you guys know butterscotch is my girl, but I felt it was a tad bit too light. And you guys know I like, I really, I love me a bright under eye, but um, I find that the combo that I was using butterscotch and latte was just too bright under the eye, it was just too bright. So I went ahead and I got my hands on the shade Maple. This is the Too Faced Concealer. Um, I love the shade so, so, so much. So I'm going to apply a little bit under the eyes here. So this is what I've been using now. I don't know what the camera is picking up, but I, and I don't know if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me, but Trust me, it does not look as light as it does on camera. It is much darker in person. So this is Maple. I'm going to go on top with a tad bit of this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade 47S 10 Deep Sand. Um, I think I'm going to let this set first, like dry down just a bit, and then I'm going to apply some of this concealer on top, and then I'm going to bake and, or set and bake. And you guys know I crease like crazy on the under eye. So as soon as I blend this out, I have to set immediately. You guys, I was doing some research and after coming to the realization that I may have to put honey aside for my under eye from Laura Mercier, you guys, but you guys know how much I love that powder. Until I recently discovered the Anastasia Beverly Hills 
loose powder. This is in the shade Deep Peach. And when I apply this on my under eye, y'all, when I tell you flashback does not exist in my world anymore, it does not exist in my world anymore. And I am so, so, so happy because like, ugh, I always thought with my concealers or not even with my concealer, I always thought with that, with my powders, I had to go with something light in order for it to help the highlight shine through or pop. But really and truly, that definitely is not the case because you can still make your concealer pop and show through under the eye once you set and bronze and do all of that good stuff. So you guys saw I picked this up in a couple vlogs ago and I've been using it ever since. I put honey aside. I use honey probably for the lids. That's what I used earlier to set the concealer on my eyelids, but I don't use honey anymore. This is my go-to. This is my girl. She is still light, but there's a nice color, a nice tint to it that I really, really love. Like, if you do not have this in your collection, I highly suggest, I highly recommend that you gotta go ahead and get this powder because it is just everything. Trust, you see, this is looking really light on camera, but trust me, it is not this light on camera. Well, I mean in real life. It's not this bright in real life. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. This is damp. You wanna wet it under some water and squeeze it out. Blend this concealer out first. And then I'm gonna add a bit of that Tarte concealer just under the eyes and not too much by the way. And then I'm gonna go right into setting and just a tad bit of baking. Now, as much as I love a bright under eye, I do love a subtle pop under the eye as well. And I feel the bright, bright under eye is gonna be occasional for me. It's not going to be all the time. So I'm gonna let this sit for a bit, dry down, and then I'm going to blend it out and then set immediately with my ABH loose powder. Y'all gonna see the difference, okay? You guys will see the difference, trust me. All right, you guys, so that is literally it for this powder. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and dust this away. I did not leave it on for long. I usually like to bake for a long period of time, but not right now. And also this is the Real Techniques setting brush. So I'm using to dust this powder away and even if this harsh line is still there that is okay because when we set the face i'm going to get rid of that harsh line so for my under eye i like to take my time and dust and press the powder it's like i'm pressing the powder into my skin but dusting it away at the same time okay 
I don't know any other way of like how to describe it, but that is what I do. So once I do that, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Studio Fix powder. This is in the shade NC50. And with that same brush, I'm gonna dip it in to the color right here. I know it's looking a lot brighter on camera, but trust me, it's not. And I'm going to press it into the skin right under the eye. And this is only going to go in those areas where I applied the right concealer. Now this is just to help remove any harsh line between the concealer and the setting powder. This is just helping to disguise it. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This is in the shade 445. Um, this is a bit darker but I don't mind, that's what I want. And I also believe I got a slight tan, so this is definitely going to work and help me for this time of year. Um, so I'm just gonna press this into the powder and then press this into my skin. And this is the Japanese for, sorry, this is the Japanese 718 brush. And like I said, not to worry because if you do have that harsh line going in with this powder is going to help disguise that harsh line. And y'all see what I mean by making it work? So even if my foundation seemed to be a little bit lighter, it's definitely not too noticeable now because of this powder that we applied. So I am gonna go in with another powder and this is definitely optional. You don't have to do this, but I've been doing this step because the TikTok girls put me on, okay? The TikTok girls put me on. This right here is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and this is in the shade 310 you guys this powder is the absolute truth it is so gorgeous i love it so much i know it's looking brighter and lighter on camera but trust me it is not that light okay it really isn't i like to apply this right under the eye just in that those that highlighted area and I'm gonna use this Morphe M536 brush and I love the shape of this brush where it can just get right into these areas and I absolutely love it. Again, this is optional, but this is what I've been doing and it's what I've added into my routine and it just gives me a beautiful finish under the eye. Like, ugh. Y'all don't understand, okay? And trust me, this I'm good with this because I don't have problems with like flashback. Um, I was using the shade up, which I think was called Too Fair or something like that, girl. I don't know what I was thinking, but that was obviously way too light for my under eye. And that also, you know, played a factor in the flashback, I think, because well, it yes and no, because I noticed the flashback from before and then I started to use this powder, but in the lighter shade, and then I noticed that the flashback was getting out of hand. So I just took everything down a notch in shade and we are good to go. We are good to go. So now it's time to bronze. As you guys saw, I do not cream contour. It is optional. You don't have to. I personally don't find the need to because when I bronze, it's warming up my face and all of that. I mean, it's makeup. There aren't no rules. You can skip, add, do whatever you please, whatever you choose, whatever works for you. I always say that. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. This is the Juvia's Place. I was gonna say Morphe. This is the Juvia's Place Bronze, Bronze in the shade 10. And I'm going to go in with the darker color right here. And this is the Japanese six, sorry, 961 brush. And I'm just going to add that right here. 
And I'm actually gonna dip it into the lighter color as well. I find that the lighter color just adds, you know, like a, like a glow. Oh, I can't really explain it, but I notice a huge difference after, you know, starting to apply that last. So I dip it into the darker shade first. Still dipping in the darker shade. Now the lighter shade. It's like it softens it and then adds a glow. Oh, I don't know, but it's just so gorgeous to the eyes. Oh, I love it so, so, so much. Now the darker shade on my forehead. Ooh, that, this rash is annoying me right now. It is annoying me. And now with this smaller brush, this is like a Real Techniques Mimic brush. I got this back in the day. I, it was a, a makeup kit. I, it was either Amazon or eBay. It was a long time ago, okay? So yeah, it's what I use to apply my bronzer on my nose. So I like to take it up from the brow bone and then drag it all the way down. And this is still the darker shade that I am using. And I'm also going to apply some of this into my crease and under the brow bone. I don't want too much of like a halo or a highlight under my brows. So I'm just gonna apply some of this bronzer right in here. So now I'm gonna apply some blush to add some color onto the face. This is from Juvia's Place Volume 1 and I'm gonna go in with this orange color right here. And the brush I'm using is a Japanesque 717 brush. And now I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I still live by this product right here. It is the absolute truth. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. I usually open my eyes, but I find that I crease when I keep my eyes open. So I'm just gonna spray this. And let it dry down with my eyes closed. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm a little annoyed right now because I just realized I was not filming when I was doing my eyes. I remember seeing the light on my camera blink, but it blinked twice, but I didn't think nothing of it. And it was afterwards I realized. The camera wasn't recording. Ugh. The life of being a content creator, I tell you. So even though I thought I was filming, but I wasn't, I'm still gonna run through the products that I use, you know, eyeliner and stuff. So for liquid eyeliner, this is the one and only product that I always use. This is the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner in Jet Black. I've been using this liquid eyeliner for years and it does me good. I just, you know, love how it gives me that beautiful wing and I love that it's matte. It's not super shiny or anything. And I also use this on top of my Beauty Mark. You guys know I have more like on my nose, but I feel it looks too messy when I apply it on my nose. So I just do the little beauty mark above my lip. So that's that. Um, for my lower lash line, I use the Makeup by Mario pencil. This is the Master Pigment Pro pencil in a super black. This is what I've been using for my waterline. And it does, you know, it does its job. Um, so yeah, no complaints about that. Now for mascara, okay, I use two mascaras. I don't have to, but I choose to. So this is the Too Faced 
Better Than Sex Mascara. I use this on my top lashes. I don't use it on my bottom lashes because the wand is really, really big. And I mean, I bought it, it's a part of my kit. So I'm going to find a reason, I'm gonna find a way to use it. So I use this on my top lashes only. For my bottom lashes, I like to use this mascara. This is from MAC, this is their Extended Play Mascara. This is in the shade. I don't see no shade, but it's black. I only use black. So this for top lashes, this is for bottom lashes. And for applying my falsies, I like to use the dual eyelash glue. As you can see, it's the black tube. And when you open it, it looks navy blue. It looks navy blue. As you guys can see, like the tip is like super flat. This is the eyelash glue that I use all the time. I like that it goes on like a blue and it's when it's kind of drying it gets to like a navy blue and that's when I know it's time for me to pop it on. And then for lashes, 25 mm lashes from Amazon, it will be linked below. If you don't like these kind of lashes, baby, that is okay. Wear whatever lashes that suits your face, that suits the look that you're going for, but from the beginning of time, you guys know I'm extra, I'm dramatic. I love my big lashes and that will never ever change it won't change anywho i am going to add some highlight onto my face some shimmer highlight and this is the artist couture diamond luxe luminizer and honey drip i talk about this all the time this is not new and the brush i used to apply that this is from morphe this is the m501 brush i'm gonna apply some of the high points of my cheeks it's funny because i used to be a highlight girl then i stopped couldn't deal with it I love the matte look and now here I am back to loving it it's part of my routine and I can't go without it so just a bit on the tip of my nose a little right here I don't do it on my entire like nose bridge just a bit on the forehead chin and a little I'm gonna keep it though and then with this Japanese brush, this is the 728 brush, I'm just gonna apply a bit of this highlighter in the tear duct area. We wanna pop right in this area. This next product I'm about to pull up right here, this, this product is the absolute truth. And I can stand on this because I know how good this setting spray is. Yes, we are talking about a setting spray. A couple months ago, I used, well, I actually bought the setting spray sometime last year and I only used it once, didn't really care for it. I put it aside. And then on days when I wanted to use it, it wasn't working for some odd reason. Like the pump spray part, like it just wasn't working. The product would not come out and it just didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, okay, well, since you can't work, I guess you're just gonna have a seat over here. And then, you know, I continued doing what I was doing. And then one day I was reminded by this setting spray on TikTok and I was like, okay, I have, I have the setting spray, let me pull it out. Forgetting that it couldn't pump, but it started to work that day. Um, so that day I used it, I sprayed it on my face, I went somewhere and I remember having to, I was wearing my mask and I had my mask on for about an hour and your girl was talking and doing a whole bunch of stuff with this mask on. And when I got to my destination, I took the mask off to like touch up my makeup because usually I have to touch up my, my makeup when I wear a mask, but I didn't have to touch up. And I was like, okay, you know, like it just went over my head. Um, now it's time for me to come home blah 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 mask on all of that i come home and i wanted to take some pictures so i'm like let me touch up my makeup y'all i did not have to touch up my makeup and i'm like why am i not touching up my makeup what am, what have i done differently today and then i realized it's because of her <laughs> it is because of her y'all this setting spray is the absolute truth this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day okay it does what it says it's gonna do okay i love this setting spray so much now i do use two setting sprays as you guys saw and you know see i use this right after i apply my powders 
this is an, a mist and I really like that. It does help to get rid of that dry type of powdery look that's going on on my face. So I still use her and I will always use her. And then this right here is to seal and lock everything in. I use this at the very, very end. Now it does leave a bit of like a stiffness on my face. So after it dries down, I will go in with this again but only on the mouth area, like the lower part of my face, because like I said, right here is, you know, drying. But even though I did moisturize and stuff, I don't want to feel that stiff dryness around my mouth. Like I just don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this on my face. Mm. The absolute truth. Love this setting spray so much. I'm gonna let this dry down and then I'm gonna show you guys what I mean with the continuous setting mist from Morphe. I feel some stiffness, so I'm gonna just gonna and then let that dry down. And y'all, when I tell you that this makeup is sealed, it's locked, it ain't moving, it ain't shifting, trust me, it will not shift. Like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so now it's time to move on to lips. The lips ain't different. It's always gonna be a nude. Different shades of nude, but it's, it will always be a nude, I'll tell you that. Now, for some odd reason, I cannot find my Limitless Brown Pencil from Makeup Forever. I misplaced it, sadly. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead with my KKW Nude 3 pencil. And I'm just gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pencil. This is in the shade Foxy Brown. And this is just to lightly fill. Optional, you don't have to. But you guys know me. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite nude lipstick. This is from ABH in the shade Nude. Sadly, it's discontinued. I'm gonna add some gloss, but the gloss I want is not here. I'll be right back. All right, got the lip gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. Just gonna apply some of that on to my lips. Love this lip gloss so much. And you, I mean, you could definitely, oh, y'all, do you see gloss? Do y'all do y'all see this makeup look like? Mm, makeup is looking so good. It is looking so good. All right, now I could definitely, or what I would do is leave my lips like this, but I'm gonna apply some clear gloss because definitely wanna get this all shiny. You know, this is the Mac um, clear gloss. You can use whatever clear gloss you want. Clear gloss just does something extra to the lips. Like the girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. Wow. This is the makeup look, guys. I'm done. Wow, I'm done. And I don't know what it is, but I finished my makeup in 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Usually this would take me longer, and I don't know why, but it took me 45 minutes. And this is the look. All right, my loves, so this brings me to the end of today's video. This is the completed look. You guys, I'm just so in love with how my makeup is looking. I always love how my makeup looks, okay? Let's be clear, but every time I just amaze myself. I just love how my makeup be looking all the time. Like, girl, I, I did that. I did that. As always, everything will be down below in the description box. It will be listed and linked. I will link what I can and what I can. Unfortunately, I won't be able to link, but 
yeah y'all know the drill y'all know the drill be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that little bell to be notified whenever i upload a video so you never miss a video drop your comments below give this video a big thumbs up follow me on instagram at tamara renee and follow me on tiktok at tamara.renee thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video bye